Hello everyone, it's Nebula again. So, <clears throat> I thought to show you guys my spiritual book, or what some people would call like a book of shadows or Gilmore. This is mine, and I thought I'd do just a little flip through because I don't mind showing it off. Um, but if you're curious, I found this binder at the thrift store and it was actually a photo binder but I thought it would be perfect for you know putting things in also because it looks very pretty and it's velvet but <coughs> this is one of my folders it's not like a perfect you know spiritual book or anything but I keep what I need to keep in there. So like in here I have like oils that are good for you, like your skin, kiss <laughs> me sugar scrub, things to keep in mind with salt. And I have this in here specifically in case you know I wanna do um, like a spiritual bath or make a anointing oil that is safe for your skin. I use this as a good reference. And also, these right here are actually um, zines that I made that are in my shop right now. You can buy this and this if you want. Um, this one talks about like how I met my spiritual friends. And this one talks about how you can use roses in many different ways. Um, you have like this, which just like tells you what different rocks are for and things like that. How different rocks are made. And then also this one that I got when I was in the hospital. Um, then I have, sorry if this is in the way in the strap, but then I have these pages, which is on like parchment paper, which gives it a nice, pretty pink glow. But these are like of um, the gods and goddesses that I am uh, interested in and want to learn more about and things like that. So I have like Aphrodite, but like a sad thing, my printer ink got like all smeared on this, which I'm kind of sad about. But these are like little basic guides and like you know, the herbs that she's associated with, stones, number, month, colors, um, offerings, ways to meet her, and small devotional acts, which is like a big list. Then yes, I have one of Zeus, and a little write-ups and stuff about him, offerings, so forth. It's basically the same things with each one. Um, here he is. This is the one I drew a picture of him, but it takes me a while to actually like gather everything for this one, because not a lot of people evidently work with him or worship him and things like that um, and if you're curious I actually don't do worshiping because I'm just bad at it I, you might be wondering like why how I'm bad at that but I am anyways that doesn't mean that you know I don't want to work with him and things like that but I'll probably leave a link down to where I, I found the information for him, um, along with like ones on Tumblr. Um, a lot of the things that I do have written down for them, I have found on Tumblr, and then on certain other sites, um, and then some I bought from like Etsy sellers, such as Hades, which I won't show too much of this one because the seller um, does keep it kind of private with him 
but I'll give the link of where you can buy hers and print yours down. And yes, I have mine's all in like pink tones. I ran out of hot pink paper, which is why he's like the only one that has that color. But, um, oh wait, however, um, there's a person on Tumblr, I forgot her name, but she works with like death energies and things like that, and, um, she has good tips on symbols, offerings, and things like that when you're working with him. Even like ideas for an altar. Altar? No, altar. I don't know why I say that. But, yes. Oh, right here. As you can see. There it is. I'll still include a, a link. I didn't show everything that was in this um, file of hers. Just like the first page. Um, I am going to keep this kind of secretive, but I do have like black paper in here. And then just random paper. And then this I have, which um, in Arizona we have like a little Harry Potter get together where we teach things. And this is one that I did, which is about crystal energy. Like crystal basics, you see the programming. And I think like how you cleanse it. If I can open it. Yep. Different ways on how you can cleanse them. It's a pretty small fort book that I made. But um my grandmother made um chakra ones about energies and protecting yourself against like the dark energies and forces and stuff like that. Um then this I have small devotional ideas, which I also got from Tumblr. Um, I will see if I can find the link to where I found this all. I'm not sure, but it does come in handy. And also, there we go. This is from the same person on Tumblr who wrote the one with Hades. I will give a link of her um, Tumblr in the link in the description but she has like the crystals, herbs, flowers, liquids and things like that um, this is also from an Etsy seller which is cool because she only sells them for like a dollar and I thought this would come in handy this just how to banish um, this one also is from an Etsy seller. I'm not going to show all of it because it is like, you know, a lot that she wrote. But it shows you how to make incense and magical pulpery. But, um, I forgot how much I paid for this one. I think it was like two, four dollars. I don't know. Um, however, they use papers. I found I found on the website too, which like what it means when a flame's flickering, jumping, noisy, stuff like that, which comes in handy. Um, smoke, wax, and the colors and like what each color can represent, which I find come in handy. Um, then here's another one of my crystals. And then I have this one, which I found on Pinterest, and it tells you what roses can be used for, also, and like a history of it. Um, this is kind of where I got my ideas to want to make that one booklet that I made on Rosecraft, um, because most of the things are in here. And the ideas that I had and have used, I thought to kind of combine them, but this comes in handy. If you can find it on Pinterest, definitely download it. It's very handy. Um, there's like pre preparation, dosage, medicinal use, magical uses. Um, this is something I put together, which was like 
using rose milk tea, um, sweet rose biscuits, which, <clears throat> excuse me, oh my voice, or my voice, my throat. The person who had this recipe, um, I forgot her YouTube name, but I will give a link to her, her, um, her YouTube in the video because she's amazing. Candied rose petals, and rose infused honey, which I want to try this so badly, but none of the roses I have are technically edible yet. Um, this is for like beauty, beauty help, beauty tips. Um, let's see. More beauty. Oh, here we go. Love incense and how to make it, which this was found on Pinterest also. This was also found on Pinterest, which I believe this is a very safe way on if you're trying to find true love. Saying this, maybe lighting a candle, playing music, have some crystals with it. I think this is the best way to do it. No doing potions, because potions can turn on you. Enchantments can also. Charms, yes. But if it's just like a prayer, I think it's good. And I want to say this actually did really work for me. I didn't have to do no magical, like, elaborate things. Just a simple prayer and a candle and that was it. And then this one, which I haven't actually needed to use this, but I thought it was very cute and sweet to probably add to this, but um, this would be seen more attractively, and I just found this little cute clip part for it. But, so that is mine, or like the first one. Then I have this one, which I made, and it's actually inspired by like, um, Ugh, <coughs> oh, jeez. Um, junk journals. So, if you want to see how to make a junk journal, there's tons of videos, but I can make one if you guys want it. Um, I do sell some in my shop that you can use as um, a book of shadows and stuff like that. So, this is how it looks. This is like a hidden compartment. Ah, <coughs> oh, jeez, I am so sorry. My throat is just killing me. This is a potion guide. Got my floral teas. Hot chocolate. Infused water magic, which I'm not gonna like show everything of this. Just because I did get it from a book and she has a Tumblr a, um, a Tumblr blog too. I would definitely recommend her books. They're like so cute and just, they're so sweet. Um, but this is like a mental message that I thought was, would come in handy. My love and healing blessed water that I make. And I change it here and there, but you know. And then my protection salt that I use, in which I also change this here and there. But I have yet to fill it up more. And I sort of like, you know, things like that. I have prayer cards in here also, which have like beautiful artwork on it. As you can see. I got these when I was always in the hospital. Um, usually, like the priests and stuff, they would come in, and the missionaries would come in and give me things like that too. Just kind of help me, cheer me up. You guys also liked the artwork. And then I have these. Which is like, it shows you how to do the crystal programming also. Um, I do have other ones, but I don't know where I put them. But it tells you about like certain crystals and stuff like that. But yeah, then there's that one. And then there's this one that I am actually working on as of recently. And it's like, you know, doing like spirit work, communication, stuff like that. The death energies. <coughs> And I thought just having like a cute little small book that I can handy. 
handy dandy like carry with me to keep it protected I'd love to just have taped it rose petals in it um, but it's just like a little simple thing of like what to do with the offerings the crystals um, herbs flowers and then like a general description of like symbolisms symbolisms offerings um, herbs and incense for him um, and then also my graveyard chalk, which I will give the link to her video also, because I thought it was an amazing idea. I do want to credit the people that do have this, or gave these ideas. Um, and then back here, I also did the same thing. But I have more to put in here. Um, I might do another video of me, like, showing it off and it's completely full. But I'm not exactly sure yet. Um, but, you know, this is like my main big one to store information in. Then this one's like my little go-to guide one when I'm not in a hairy. And then this one's like when I'm in a hairy. <laughs> because it's a lot smaller than this one too. But, you know, it's like a good nice pocket size. I like it. But anyways... That's my video. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'll, and remember, I'll have all the links in the description. And I'll see you all later. Bye!